Online forms can be used to collect information from any user of your website. Once collected, this information is stored in your site for review and download. Online forms are typically used for collecting donations, gathering additional data from members, allowing your fans to submit feedback, or any other information you'd like to collect on your site. From the online forms page, there's a few options. We can add a new form. We can clone or copy an existing form. We can delete a form and all of its questions. We can edit an existing form. We can add or edit questions that we've added to the form. We can test this form to make sure it's working properly. And we can also list the data that we've already collected. We can also export this information in CSV or XML format. I'm going to show you how to add a new form. The resulting page will bring me to the form information. I'm going to title my form donations. Below, I'm going to select where I want this form to appear on my site. I'm going to place this underneath of the Demo tab. You can see my Demo tab above. Once I've added this form and completed it, it will appear under this tab. Below, I'm going to add a confirmation note that somebody will receive once they're done with the form. Next, we'll choose the options below. To make the form live and show it to the public, we'll choose this option. If you want to test the form and not release it to the public, leave this unchecked. I'll also want to store my results online and email a confirmation to the person submitting the form. If I want to allow the submitter to adjust their answers after they've submitted it, I'll select this box. For now, I'll leave this one unchecked. Also, I want to receive an email every time somebody submit this, submits this form, so I'll enter my email here. I can also choose a base cost. This would be the base amount that somebody would need to pay. We can also add additional costs later by adding questions to our form. Down below, we'll want to tell the form how we want to get paid. This can be either by check or cash, or by our merchant account for credit cards. Choosing to have somebody pay you by check and merchant account will give them an option at the end. Next, I'll click Continue. On this page, I can add questions to my form. To do this, I'll click the button that says Add. Now since this is a donation form, I probably want to collect information about the individual donating, such as name and contact information, and the amount they want to donate. To collect information, such as name and phone number, I'll use a text type question. This page will allow me to define the question that I'm going to ask. I'll title it Name. Then I can prompt the user to enter their name. Down below, I can specify some additional options for this question, such as if it's required or not, if it's visible, and also what type of question it is. For this question, I'm going to make it required because I want their name. I also want it to be visible because I want them to see it. Down below, I want to allow them to enter free form text. You can also choose to have them enter a date, a number, a cost, a discount code, or a certain quantity multi multiplied by a unit price. So I've entered my first question. To see what your form will look like as you're building it, click the preview form button. If a user came to my online form right now, this is what they would see. Next, we need to have somebody uh, select which amount they would like to donate to our club. To do this, we'll add a question. And we can either do this by a drop-down list or a radio button because we want them to make one selection. I'm going to do this by radio button. This page will allow me to specify the radio button. I'm going to title it Donation. Then I'll specify the option text for this option. This is going to be $25 and the option value is going to be $25 as well. I want this option to be visible and I want to specify a cost for this option of $25. If That means if they select this option, $25 will be charged to them. So now I've added one option. 
I could have two, three, four, or even ten donation amounts that somebody could select from. So I'll need to add another donation amount. Once again, I'll select radio button and enter a new donation amount. Notice that the name for my radio button is the exact same name that I've used for the original radio button. I'll have this one as $50 and create an option value of 50. I also want to specify my cost here of 50, which means if somebody selects this option, $50 will be charged to them. So now if we review our form, This is what somebody would see if they came to my form. So now that I've got my form built out, we can click Done and test it. I'll go to my demo page, and we can see my new form has been added, Donations. If I click on this page, it'll take me to the form that we've built. I can choose an amount to donate, enter my confirmation email, and click continue. Now because I gave the submitter the option to pay by check or credit card, we'll see both options here. Pay now by credit card, or send the money to our address. 